everybody! It's me, Rock'em Soccer, from the cast of season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I was the second eliminated girl on my season. Never give up on your dreams and tell yourself that you love yourself. Losing is the new winning. This message is for the season 13 girl who also got eliminated this week uh, in second place, just like me. Oh, did I say, did I say second place? I meant second eliminated. <laughs> second place is, is, is the same thing. In my head. I was eliminated second too. I truly understand either what you're feeling or what you're going through right now. If there's one thing I wish I had known about being eliminated that I knew now, it's that being eliminated, um, it stops hurting. Sashay away. I just wanted to remind you that even though you just heard to sashay away, Shantae, you stay here in this Drag Race family. People always remember the first eliminated. Miss Vanji, Miss Vanji. But the second, they never talk about us, you know? Besides self-loathing and bad makeup, what else do we have in common? Only fans. I can't say that, can I? but second eliminated is like kind of a death sentence for your career. But that's not the case. Look at me. <laughs> My dear Rockham, keep socking it to him. Now, sachet away. So when Rue said to me, sachet away, I was in shock. I was in complete and total shock that she told me to to go home because I knew somewhere in the bottom of my heart that I deserved to be there and I deserved to stay longer. As soon as she told me, it kind of, it broke my heart. I left the stage and um, I actually, they had to, <laughs> they had to <laughs> cut down my exit line because I was, I was sitting there for maybe like 15, 30 seconds giving this whole spiel because I felt like if I stopped talking, my time on Drag Race wasn't gonna be real. You know, the minute I stopped talking, it was going to be my last time on that stage. I cried right off stage. Um, you know, it was a multitude of emotions. I cried for maybe like a good three minutes, hard wailing. Love you, Rock. I walked back into the workroom for the first time after getting eliminated, and I was like, I was so angry, I, I kicked Gigi's mannequin. I did like a, a karate kick to the mannequin. I switched it with mine after because I think I broke it. <laughs> so the first thing I thought when Rue told me to sashay away was, maybe she's right. Maybe you are an America's Next Drag Superstar and maybe some of the things that you're, you've thought this whole time that you're not as good or as pretty as these other girls, maybe that's all real. Maybe that's, maybe that's true. Maybe that's why you're going home. You have to realize that just because you went home on a TV show, it, it, it means nothing about you as a person or your art and you're beautiful and smart and wonderful. Of course I'm saying that to you, but I'm also saying it to myself. It's always good to know. For a while you might think, hey, I was second eliminated and no one's gonna take me serious. I'm here to tell you that's not true. And the people who believe in you and love you and support you the most are all of your sisters from the season. So cheer up! Cheer up, bitch. It's not like we were first eliminated and then they brought us back for the rest of the season and then the first eliminated girl was in more episodes than you. It's not like that. You are second. You know what that is? It's twice the amount as one. You know, every time I've been surrounded by two men, I'm much happier than when I'm surrounded with one because of semen. So when I got off the season, I got into a little bit of a depression because people didn't like you know, my outfits after I got eliminated. People were like, Rock was robbed. And the people who didn't think I was robbed were really passionate about saying that I wasn't robbed. And sometimes all of that stuff can give you major anxiety. Just remember that they're not being judged in front of the world, okay? The, whoever is sending you comments or whatever out there, they're not who, who your art is for, okay? Remember that your art is for you and you deserve to make content for yourself while you're in this once in a lifetime opportunity. You are in the spotlight right now. So go get out there. Stop watching this video. Get out your camp. Wait, before you stop watching this video, like it, subscribe to Wild Presents, leave a comment down below, and then go out and make content, bitch.
When I got home, all I could think about when I would look in the mirror is you're the girl who went home second, you're the girl who got eliminated, you're the girl who didn't make it to the finale and you're not there anymore. But that, that feeling and that weight that you have is only there if you put it on yourself. You're gonna get a lot of love and a lot of admiration from people and drag queens and fans all over the world and you're gonna rock it, you're gonna slay it regardless of whatever placement you got on Drag Race, okay? Being a drag race queen means being a hope and inspiration for a generation of gay kids or LGBTQ plus kids that are out there watching and waiting for you. So don't let this opportunity to influence so many beautiful young people slip away from you. You did the most amazing job and you're gonna be the strongest, most beautiful, amazing version of yourself going forward. It's gonna, it's gonna inspire a lot of people. I have a newfound respect for myself as an entertainer and as a person. I know that I'm funny, and that I'm talented, and most of all, I treat myself well. Because whenever I think I can't do this, or maybe I'm not funny, am I doing things right? Is my makeup not good enough? I remember the fact that I'm here, and if I didn't love and respect myself, I wouldn't be where I am right now. If I could give you some really good advice though, it's ask the winner for some money. They won't give it to you, but it will establish your relationship as a leech.